Morning! Hope you're doing really, really well. As you can see, I'm at home today. I'm in my home gym, pain cave, whatever you want to call it. And today I'm going to be hopping on Ruby. So I do quite a lot of indoor training, even in the summer, even when it's sunny outside, because sometimes I just can't get out. I'm looking after the kids, so I put them in front of the TV and I nip upstairs to do a quick workout. It's also really good if I've got some specific intervals to do, because the, the terrain around here is so hilly that it's quite hard to maintain the correct power that my coach has prescribed me for an interval if suddenly I'm going up a hill or, or down a hill. I just can't do it. So I do a lot of my interval training indoors on Ruby and I actually really enjoy it. Yesterday, lovely day, sunny outside, um, but I really enjoyed nipping upstairs and having a break from all the children, getting my workout done. It makes me feel good. So yes to indoor training in the summer so today what i wanted to do is i wanted to go on to ruby they've just had a bit of an update a bit of a rebranding so i wanted to check that out looks like they've got some new jerseys which they haven't sent me yet hopefully i'll get one of those soon um and i want to check out a really famous climb so after i've been to morzine i'm heading out to Majorca with the family and i will have my road bike sneaky sneaky it's a family holiday but just can't resist <laughs> So I am planning on riding a few of Mallorca's most iconic climbs if I can make a swift getaway in the morning, I'm not very good at getting up, and if I can manage the mum guilt sufficiently to actually make a little time for myself. Uh, so one of the main ones that I want to do is the lighthouse climb. Before I head to Mallorca I'd like to find out if there's anything I need to know about this climb. Like have I got the right gearing? How steep is it? What's the max gradient? And uh, do I need to pack lights when I'll be riding through a tunnel? Because obviously I'm not planning on riding at night so normal normal normally <laughs> I wouldn't take lights on a trip like this. But if I'm going through tunnels I'm going to need lights. So I'm going to hop on Ruby. They have got the real route on here, the real route, so I can see what it's like and also just have a bit of a workout. So let's go. So um, I'm just going to search for Captive Warming Tour and here it is. So on here it's saying it's 11 kilometres. That's just the final climb. If I was going from Puerto Poyenza, obviously I'd be riding up there and then beginning this. What looks cool is it's got Strava segments on it. So I don't know if you know, if you haven't seen my videos before, on Ruby you have actual real Strava segments and you can try and beat your own PB or you have a kind of ghost virtual rider going up alongside you, whoever's got the queen of the mountain, so you can try and pace yourself with them. So that looks cool. 11 kilometers, 253 meters of elevation, and it says it'll take about half an hour. There's three Strava segments. So I'm just downloading the route in full HD so it looks nice when I'm riding it. I'm going to do a little warm up in the meantime. Ooh. Yesterday's workout got my legs hurting it was some threshold pulling pyramid intervals so four minutes above threshold and then four minutes recovery and then three minutes on three minutes off three minutes on three minutes off and then two 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 oh my god my legs hurt basically <laughs> I'm suitably roasting. I've got another fan down there, but it's so noisy that I won't be able to talk to you guys if I put it on. So I'm just gonna suffer. Let's get going. I'm not really racing it, I'm just doing it as a time trial mode because I'm curious to set a baseline. And then maybe when I'm in New York, I can see if I can beat it. Here we go. I'm in the wrong gear to begin with. Oh, out again. Okay. Oh, nice shady start with some pine trees. Can't quite get in the right gear here, never mind. Having a bit of an issue with the Watt bike. <laughs> it keeps ramping up the resistance. Great. 
keep shifting down through the gears if he keeps putting the resistance back up I don't want to ride at 200 watts stupid thing I guess I'm having no say I should have gone on the tax just jumped on this because it's handy it's already set up right approaching the first star segment for my tour oh here comes the queen of the mountain to kick my ass <laughs> useless not sure what's going on with this what bike just I just enjoy the scenery from what I know which is not a lot uh, people call it Cap Formentere and it's not just one climb really it's a series of kind of inclines and it takes you up to a lighthouse where there is nice camping Get aero. <laughs> Flattish bit. Ah. Watch me turn the phone. <laughs> Brushed hair and a little makeup. It's a completely disheveled in the space of half an hour. Shady. I'm looking forward to this in Mallorca. A oh, question for you who have been before. Is it better to get up early and do this climb? Or if I do it kind of early evening, is that a nice time? Or we'll everyone will be queuing for their <laughs> dinner buffets. We're going self catered so it doesn't matter to me. Empty roads would be nicer. Give me your tips for Mallorca. I can see the sea. I mean, I can see the actual sea. Out there. <laughs> and I can see the sea. On here. Double whammy. Okay, approaching. Kalamurta. Is that the death coin? I don't know. There goes that fast green in the mountain. See ya. Catch me. for now. make yourself feel unfit. So pretty up here. Why can't I change gear? Next time I'll do it on a different turbo. Just being lazy getting on this. It's actually sounds. <laughs>
well sit up because I can't shift. There's the lighthouse. Should I set up a YouTube live where we could ride it together? That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Let me know if you want me to. I need on Ruby. I can give you a free month of Ruby. Jeez, that was a slightly challenging cat before mentor on Ruby, thanks to my turbo trainer not allowing me to select what gear or resistance I want. Uh, <laughs> let me know if you want to join me when I retry that with a different turbo. Perhaps we could do a group ride and a YouTube live stream. That might be fun. Um, give me your tips for Mallorca and check out the link down there for a Ruby code so you get a free month and also I can give you free Strava Premium, so check out those links. Alright, see you later, bye!